Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a satisfactory weekend, no. You know, and, and that's that's important. We have to learn that lesson. Uh, but yeah, I, I, anytime you beat St. Lawrence, you earn it. I just have so much respect uh, for Joe Marsh and his team and his program and how he gets his guys to play year after year after year. You know you're going to get hit when you play them and you know it's going to be a hard hockey game when you play them. Uh, no matter what their personnel looks like, they keep playing the same way and that, that's such a great uh, attribute of the coach. What pleased you the most tonight? How hard we played. You know, such, such a different mentality, and especially from our elite guys. You know, like it was tough last night, like, and some of our better players got called on the carpet pretty hard. And, and I just liked our response. We, we've been we've said this before. We've been a, a resilient team, and we've responded to adversity starting in the off season, um, and then within games, goals just dis being disallowed and controversial losses, and. and uh, we continue to respond to adversity. You know, hopefully we won't put ourselves in so much of it, but um, yeah, I just thought that our first line played like a first line tonight. And, and they were a, a dominant factor, and Chase Palachuk was great. Uh, was there any doubt in your mind that Foss's goal was indeed a goal? No, no, I, I saw it going. I what, did, what did they say? That's, you know, I mean, see it. Well, I'm excited that next year we're all going to have video replay. <laughs> <laughs> it just takes all this stuff. It, they're humans. It, yeah. It's a split-second play. It's bang, bang. There's eight guys standing at the front of the net. And it wasn't in there very long. <laughs> right. You know, and, and um, you know, again, I thought they did a good job. The four of them came together. From my understanding, I think three of them, you know, mm -hmm. seemed pretty good about it. And the goal judge did as well. So, um, you know, it was in. We've reviewed it. It was a goal. So. Is this been as close to a must-win as you think you could have in beginning of January. Yeah. It's been going 3-5 and now it's starting to be It's amazing how you can throw away a good non-conference record in a hurry, right? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, the, the knock on our team last year is that we were, if you were, if you made the game hard against us, we wouldn't be as resilient as you needed to be to win tough games. And I think what happened in the playoff series is a great example of that. Um, and so, Last night, you know, that showed that, uh, and we had to make sure we, we answered the bell. And, and, and you have to answer the bell against a team like that that you know is going to be extremely hard. So, uh, yeah, I think it was darn close to a must win for a regular season game in January. Is that a test of pride more than anything, Coach? I mean, be bouncing back and, and not having that knock on you this year? Yeah, it's important. It's important to, to me. Um, I have no interest in coaching a team that doesn't want to play hard. Um, you know, because at the end of the day, it's you know I take responsibility for what happened last night. Uh, it's my team, you know, and and it's important for our seniors. You know, I've said all year we're going to win with our seniors, and we have a great group of young men that really care about the program, and sometimes they just have to be um, a little bit more. Uh, demanding of themselves, ex higher level of expectation day to day to day. And part of it is we're learning to win. It's the first time we've been ranked here and, and, and up that high and all those different things. And you're going to get, we beat Clarkson twice last year. We're ranked top 10 in the country. We're going to get their best game. And we have to be mature enough to understand that. I was going to ask you yesterday, you thought you weren't able to hide behind Union anymore, but then when you lost, I didn't. And then today, when you see them beating Clarkson 8-1, to one, just wonder, do they like, have a level of mental toughness that your team still has to reach? You know, I guess I don't worry about that. It's a good question. You know, I don't know if I worry about what they do versus what we do. Uh, I like them being our travel partner because I know that... When we play a team on Saturday, it, it, it's the they're going to have a second hard game. And Nate and I usually talk, and, and I told them we did nothing to uh, to tire Clarkson out today for them. So uh, they were going to have to win on their own. Um, you know, uh, Union is a really good hockey team, and, and uh, I said all week that I didn't think Clark Clarkson playing Monday, Tuesday would affect them Friday, but probably affected them tonight a little bit. That's to take nothing away from what Union did at all. Uh, but that's tough. On any team, Clarkson has played four games in a row against top 15 teams in the country in six days. You know? And you're not, that college players are not used to that. Well, it's just, you know, it but, but the pros unions, are, now and then. unions a tough team. Unions a tough team. Um, Greg Bergdorfer 
moved him onto the second power play unit and scored a goal today, not on the power play. Has he been a surprising offensive spark so far? Um, I, I don't think it's the offense that we look for for him. I think that's a secondary, it's a byproduct that we're happy about. Um, but with him, we need physical play. You know? uh, I, when, when Josh Rabani and, and Greg Bergdorfer play the right way, um, the other team knows they're playing against them, you know, and, and, and they're nasty and they're physical and they're tough. And I thought they were two of our better forwards last night, and I thought they both played hard again tonight. Um, those are two big boys and two tough guys. Uh, and, and I thought that, you know, Greg's offensive contributions just came from hard work and the fact that they possessed the puck for 40, 50 seconds in the offensive zone and finally broke a team down.